Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rilvan Lapua Xalamanya, 24 years old, and a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. I am an applicant for junior high school teacher one position. For this video, I will be having my demonstration teaching, and the topic or the lesson is Biag Milam Ang by Pedro Bukanik. Without further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone, good morning. How is everybody? How are you all today? That's great to hear. I'm also good. I'm happy. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, let's just make this day a very meaningful, fun, and engaging one. Okay, there you go. Before we start, I want everybody to please pick up all the pieces of papers under your chairs. Go ahead. All right, this area, please align your chairs also. All right, thank you. So I think everybody is settled. Please stand for the prayer. Miss Fabi, please lead. The new Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, good morning. Okay, wow, well, I love the energy. Wow, it seems like you're all excited for today. That's amazing. Before we proceed with our discussion, Let's have first the attendance with our attendance board. Okay, so all the leaders have put zero at this column, so it means no one is absent. That's amazing. Thank you, leaders. And of course, again, attendance is really important inside the class. Okay, there you go. Let's start. So for this activity, I will let you watch first a short video about the elements of prose or elements of story. So I want you to listen and watch very carefully because afterwards we'll be having an activity. Okay? Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Let's watch this.
created using Powtoon. All right, so for this time, we're done with the video. So let's answer this one. It is a review of the past lessons that we have, okay? So let's try to answer this. So what you're going to do here is I have swords here, and each sword contains of a definition of the elements okay so i want you to pull one one here you need to pull one sword and read it, the definition and put this sword to the correct element okay for example uh it refers to who is telling or narrating a story a story can be told from the first person, second person, or third person. So where this sword should belong. Okay, so uh, let's take theme. For example, if, if this one is for theme, you need to put it here. Oops. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, let's start. Who wants to try? Yes. Yes, Amy. Go ahead. Okay, there you go. So let's try this one. Um, it is the sequence of the events of the story. So that is plot. Okay, very good. About this one. Whoop. Oh, this is what I have picked a while ago. It refers to who is telling or narrating a story. A story can be told from the first person second person or third person so where this should belong okay very good it should be on points of view very good let's another one Oop. here it refers to the people animals imaginary creatures that take part of the story all right where this this should belong Characters, conflict, setting, or theme. Very good. Here, it should be here in characters. Nice. Let's proceed with the next one. We have the central idea of any literary piece. What element, what element is this? Okay. Yes, Amy. Very good. Theme. That's great. Next one is... It is where and when a story takes place. Where this should belong. Yes, dimples. Okay, setting. Very good. Great. That's amazing. And we have the last one, of course, is it is the opposition of persons or forces. So it means we have here conflict okay very good so there you have it we are we are we are done with this activity and i believe that you already knew the elements of this story and please do not forget this one because we will be using this one for further activity okay for the next activity i will be dividing you into four groups let's start counting one two three four here one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, group one will stay here. Two, three at the back, and four. Okay. Please go to your respective places in one, two, three. There you go. Thank you. One, two, three. Eyes on me. Please listen very carefully. Each group will be given puzzle pieces. And you are going to reform the puzzle pieces into its original picture. I will give you five minutes to finish the puzzle, okay? Okay, I repeat. Each group will be given puzzle pieces. You're going to reform the puzzle pieces into its original picture. And I will give you five minutes to finish it. 
Am I clear? Do you have questions? Clarifications? Okay, none. So, if you don't have any more questions and clarifications, your five minutes starts now. Okay, stop. Time is up. One, two, three. Eyes on me. Very good. Okay, so please, a representative of each group, go to the front and show to us your picture. Group one. Okay, group one's picture. Okay, thank you. How about group two? Mm hmm. Three, what is that? Okay, four. All right. So, thank you so much. Now, I will show you the correct picture. There you have it. So, this is the correct picture. And let's try to check who got the correct picture. Correct. Group one and group three got the correct picture. Very good. That's amazing. Let's give them a big hand of applause. Okay. Thank you so much. You may now go to your respective places. Go ahead. All right. So as you can see in this picture, uh, the word is lamang. Are you familiar with this picture? Yes, Maria. Okay. Be agni lamang. Okay. Great job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Febby. Oh, it is it is a story of a hero. Okay. Thank you so much. Last one. All right. Go ahead. Uh Jovi. Okay. Wow, it is an epic poem. Okay, very good. That's amazing. Well, it's great to hear that you have the idea. What is this picture all about? Very good. And yes, you got it correct. Thank you so much. All right. For this time, I will be distributing the copies of the story Bi Agni Lam Ang by Pedro Bukanik. And you're going to reread the story for two minutes. Afterwards, you're going to choose one unfamiliar word. You need to define the word using a dictionary or making your own definition based on how the word is used in the sentence. The third one is you need to, to construct a sentence. Clear? After that one, you're, you'll need to write the word here. Okay? You need to write the word here and then write the sentence here. Uh, this one. No need to write the definition here. You need to speak it out. Okay? Great. Any more questions? Yes, Mario. Yes, yeah, simple sentence can do. Thank you. Yes, voice at the back. Is it clear? Hmm. Okay. Let me repeat. Your fir first thing that you need to do is to read the story for two minutes. After you read the story, you need to choose one unfamiliar word that you encountered while reading the story. Second, you need to define the word. So you have two options here. If you have dictionary, uh, look the word into the dictionary and okay, find the meaning. Or if you don't have dictionary, you need to make your own definition based on how the word is used in the sentence. Am I clear? Very good. The third one is that you need to construct a sentence. Simple sentence can do. Okay, so you will do it here. You will write the word here and then write just some the sentence here again no need to write the definition here you're just going to speak it out okay there you go i'll be distributing it now 
together with the copies of the story. There you go. Your time starts now. All right. Time is up. Pens up. One, two, three. Eyes on me. Very good. Okay, so I will be choosing or perhaps volunteers, three volunteers in front now. Okay, we have Fabi, Dimples, and Creevy. Okay, there you go, please. Uh huh. Okay, so the word is feud. Okay, Creevy chose feud. Okay, Creevy, please explain what is feud. Okay, a prolonged and bitter quarrel or dispute. Where did you get this definition? Okay, in the dictionary. Okay, very good. Now, please make a sentence. Okay, so your sentence is, let's try to read. Ukraine and Russia's incident started with a small feud. Very good. Thank you so much, Krivi. Take your seat. Go ahead. Let's proceed with the work of Fabi. We have slew. Now, Fabi, please tell us what is the definition of slew. Okay, very good. Killed or murdered. Where did you get this meaning? Okay, your own definition. Okay, great. So let's try to check the sentence of Fabi. Wait. The armies, the armies fought the enemies for the country and slew them all, murdered them all, or killed them all. Very good. Thank you so much, Fabi. You may now take a seat. And the last word is merciless, coming from dimples. Okay. Dimples, please tell us the meaning of merciless. Mercilessly, sorry. Showing no mercy. Okay, very good. So what the, your sentence is, the world saw how people were killed mercilessly by the invaders. Very good. No mercy. Killing, showing no mercy when they are killing. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, you may now take a seat, Dimples. Thank you so much, volunteers. Please let us give them a big round of applause. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. So for this, proceed to the story of Biag Milam Ang. We have already unlocked the unfamiliar word, so it could be easy for us to understand the story. So I will, of course, we have groups here. Groups one, two, four. Please go to your respective places. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. One, two, three, eyes on me. Okay, there you go. So please listen. Here, I will let you watch a digital storytelling about Biag Nilam Ang. Okay? I want you to listen very carefully watch it very carefully because afterwards we'll be having an activity am i clear okay there you go i will give you perhaps three or five minutes to watch the story okay let's watch this in three two one Biag Nilam Ang, an Iloko epic by Pedro Bocanic. A couple named Don Juan and Amongan lived in a faraway barrio of Nalbuan. One day, Don Juan left his pregnant wife and went to the mountain to punish a group of Igarets. While he was in the mountain, Namwangan gave birth to a baby boy. 
the baby was different from other babies because upon birth he could already speak. He wanted his name to be Lam An, and he was the one who chose his godfather when he was baptized. Where is my father? Lam An asked his mother no more. He is in the mountain to settle his feud with a group of egrets there, said his mother. Lam Ang felt sad. He hadn't seen his father since he was born, and he was terribly longing to see him. Would it be long before he comes back? I don't know, answered his lonely mother, Namongan, who was also terribly missing her husband. I don't even know if he's still alive. One day, Lam Ang had an unusual dream. In his dream, he saw how his father was mercilessly killed by a group of Icarus. He was seething with anger when he woke up. He decided to follow his father to the mountain. He was then nine months old when he reached the Igorets village. He saw them dancing around the head of his father that was on top of a thin bamboo pole. In his rage, he fought all of the Igorets and slaughtered them all, including the leader of the group whom he tortured first before he killed. On his way home to Nalbuan, he passed by the Amburayan River. There, he took a bath with his lady friends scrubbing his body of dirt and blood that eventually killed all the living creatures in the river. When he was old enough to marry, he heard of the beautiful Ines Kanoyan and fell in love with her. When he went in his place to court her taking with his white rooster and his favorite dog. When he arrived at her house, he was annoyed to see Inez met many suitors in front of the house. He asked his rooster to crow, and the rooster did. At once, Inez's house crumbled to the ground, killing all her suitors. Then he asked his dog to bark, and the dog did. The crumbled house stood again at once. Inez and her parents went out of the house to meet him. The white rooster expressed Lam Ang's feelings for Inez Kanoyan. My master, Lam Ang, loves you very much and he wants to marry you, the white rooster said to Inez in the language she clearly understood. I'll marry you if your wealth could equal our riches, answered Ines Kanoyan. Ines' challenge to him did not dampen Lam Ang's spirit. He went home at once and came back with a big boat full of gold, the value of which surpassed Ines' family's wealth. Then they were married and they lived happily. Years passed and came Lam, Lam Ang's turn to catch a fish known as a rarang. It was an obligation of every married man in the community to catch a rarang. Lam Ang, however, felt that he would be killed by a berkahan, a kind of fish that belonged to the shark family, once he set out to catch a rarang. But he had to do his duty, and one night, he sailed out to the sea. He was killed by a Berkahan as he had foreseen. Inez wept in sorrow. Lam Ang's white rooster thought of a way to bring Lam Ang back to life again. Inez Kanoyan paid a deep sea diver to locate all the bones of Lam Ang under the sea. The diver found all the bones very easily and Inez Put them together. Then, together with Lam Ang's white rooster and favorite dog, 
She held prayer vigils every night until one day Lam Ong came back to life and they lived happily ever after. Time is up. One, two, three, eyes on me. Please listen. I'll be giving you a set of cards and arrange these cards or these events in chronological order according or based on the story has shown or that you have watched a while ago. Okay? I'll be giving you three minutes to finish it. And after three minutes, let's check. Am I clear? Again, I repeat. I'll be giving these cards to you, each group, and then you're going to arrange it chronologically, okay? From the start until the end. I'll be giving you three minutes to finish it. Am I clear? Great. Okay, if there is no question, your time starts now. All right, time is up leaders group leaders please stand and show us your work let's start with group one okay thank you how about group two mm -hmm. all right thank you three okay very good four mm -hmm. thank you how about the last group may i see all right. Thank you so much, group leaders. You may now take a seat. Uh, let's try to check whether you get the correct order of events. So I have here the correct sequence of events. And again, these events are based on the video that you have watched a while ago. Okay. Let's start with the first picture. Did you get the correct picture? Okay. Very good. So this is the first picture. And this story, Don Juan and Namongan lived in a in Albuan. And here also, uh, Don Juan went to the mountains to punish the group of Icarus. Uh, while far away, Namongan gave birth to a baby boy named, very good, Lam An. So that's the first picture. And the second picture is that, of course, after nine months of waiting, Lam Ang decided to look for his father. He knew that his father was in, in danger and being killed by the group of Icarus. The third picture is this. Okay, everyone get the correct answer. So in this picture, Lam Ang killed, or Lam Ang fought and killed all the group of Icarus. The fourth picture is this. Okay, very good. You get the correct picture. Okay, here the lady, the young lady or the young woman named Ines Kanoyan. Yes, she has a lot of suitors, but of course, at the end, Lam Ang won. Okay, uh, of course, he was being seen but because of his rooster and his dog. After that one, the next picture is that when they got married, when they got, they got married, of course, uh, there is a tradition, okay? It's a tradition of the family. That's why, okay, Lam Ang killed by a berkahan. It's a kind of fish. So after that one, in this picture, uh, Ines Kanoyan hired or paid a diver to look for the bones of, you know, Lam Ang in the sea. And then... You know, when they were, you know, collect all the bones, they were, you know, Ines Kanoyan really prayed so hard every day, every night, just to came the life, came back the life of Lam Ang. And yes, you know, the life of Lam Ang came back. Each group got the correct order of the events that's amazing so it only means that you re really listened and watch the video very carefully that's great so of course there is a corresponding points with that okay now let's proceed to 
The next one, for this one, it's a group activity. No one will go to your respective chair. Just stay on your group, okay? But this is an individual group. What you're going to do here is, is you're going to find, locate the elements of the story, Biag Nilam An. Okay, you're going to write it on a paper or, no, your English notebook, okay? English quiz notebook. Okay, you need to locate the characters and the description. We have the setting, the theme, Conflict, points of view, and symbol. The symbol is your choice, okay? What symbol you, you know, you have noticed in the story. Clear? Do you have any questions? I'll give you five minutes to answer this activity. Then after five minutes, we'll check. Okay, your, your time starts now. All right, time is up. Pens up and one, two, three, eyes on me. Let's start and check your answers. Let's start with the characters. Let's start with the protagonist. Go ahead, Maria Lamang. Very good. Who is Lamang? Lamang is the one who killed the Icarus. Okay, very good. Okay, also, yes, Fabi. Okay, the hero, okay, or the main character of the story. Okay, very good. Anyone? Yes? Mario? Okay, the husband of Ines Canoyan. Okay, very good. Uh, who else? Yes? Okay. Rooster and dog. So, rooster, the one who crow, and the dog, the one who barks during the what? Okay, very good. And there were a lot of suitors of Ines Canoyan during that time. Okay, very good. That's it. Now let's proceed with the antagonist. Who are the antagonists of the story? Yes, Roda, Icarus. And who are the Icarus? Okay, they were the one who killed the Nuan and the one being killed by Lamang. Very good. And the last one is Berkahan or the Rarang, of course. Very good. Okay, Rarang or Berkahan is the one who killed Lamang. Very good. Let's proceed to the, the second character. Okay, we have the protagonist, the antagonist, and the second character is, of course, Don Juan. Very good. Don Juan is the husband of Namongan and the father of Lamang. Very good. Yes, Krivi. Very good. Namongan. Okay. The, the, the mother of Lamang and the wife of Lamang. Ah, uh, Don Juan. Okay, very good. And the last one is? Yes, Mimi. Ines Canoyan. Okay, very good. Ines Canoyan is the wife of Lamang. Very good. That's great. So I think everyone get the correct answer. Let's proceed to the setting. Where is the story takes place? Well, actually I have two places. Oh, okay, first one is, yes, Ivy. Very good, Nalbuan. Great. The next one is, hmm, Stephanie. Okay, very good, the Amborayan River. Very good, that's great. Let's proceed to the theme. What are the theme of the story? Yes, Fabi. Love, very good. Next. Mm -hmm. Marvin. Bravery, very good. And you, Marjorie. Okay, and War. Okay, I think these are some of the theme of the story okay next is the conflict the conflict is i think who answered man versus man okay very good man versus man because of uh, lam ang versus uh ikurts lam ang versus uh dunawan versus the ikurts okay 
very good and the points of view is anyone yes angelo very good third person that's nice anyone who answered symbol okay symbol is okay i think for me ah uh, yes okay mm -hmm. thank you yeah there are a lot of symbols that show uh, on the story of lam an okay as i believe that this story tells us that one must persevere through the trials of life let's just admit life is difficult but no matter how difficult our life is we should be determined and be persevered to achieve our goals in life and i know the process might be long and painful but at the end of the day it will be worth it okay and also when it comes to father's love it simply tells us that a father is neither an anchor to hold us back nor a sail to take us there but a guiding light whose love shows us the way all right so i think that is the turning point of the story that's the take that we could get from the story okay i hope, I hope that you learned something from this story it's not just about bravery it's not just about you know fighting for what you think is right but it's also about love of a son to a father okay that of course you know we know that a father will is willing to willing to sacrifice his life for his son for his family and also i believe that children also are willing to do that one next activity we'll be having a game show i have prepared five questions and each question contains four choices and then you only need to answer this one for five seconds and after five seconds you need to show up your whiteboard clear okay let's start with question number one okay this is a river where lam an took a bath with his lady friends a amburayan river b palayan river c burayan river what is your answer five four three two one amburayan river letter a very good number two the girl who lam ang fell in love with a ines kanoy b ines kanon kanoyan c nes kanoyan d ines kayan what is your answer five four three two one letter b in this canoe very good let's proceed number three lam ang was killed by what creature a berkahan b lion c botanding and letter d snake what is your answer five four three two one boards up very good that is letter a berkahan let's proceed with Question number four. Who are the tribes that killed Lam An's father? A. Manobo. B. Igarats. C. Tagabawa. D. Bagobo. What is your answer? We have Igarats. Very good. Let's proceed to the last question. She gave birth to Lam An and the wife of Don Juan. A. Namongan, B. Nongayan, C. Lingayan, D. Lungayan. What is your answer? Five, four, three, two, one. Correct. That is letter A. Namongan. Very good. So everyone got the correct answer. Very nice. Okay. So for that, since everyone got the correct answer, later on I will give you the prize for your respective chairs because for this time 
let's have another activity, okay? Okay, go ahead. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. So for this activity, I want you to be comfortable with yourself, okay? I will let you show a video and I want you to think of your father of what he has done to you for a long year, okay? So I want you to close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes first. Think of your father, how your father sacrificed everything just to give you a better life. This moment of silence, think of your father. He worked hard for you. He sacrificed his life for you. Now open your eyes and let's watch this video. How easy it is for us to forget what it was like when we were once family. The times we shared. How easy it is for us to forget how to love. How easy it is for us to forget how to smile. It's easy to forget. But it's even harder not to love. Family is forever. All right, my dear students, I want you to reflect yourself after watching the video. What if this is the last day of your father? What would you like to say to him? Close your eyes. Write the words, the sentences, 
all the things that you want to say to your father. Stop. I want you to fold it into halves. Put it into your heart. If you want to say thank you, say thank you to your father. And if you want to say sorry, sorry for what you've done to your father. Now, I want you to open your eyes and I want you to reflect that when you go to your when you go to your home or to your house, okay? Thank you. All right, everyone. Okay, you can now wipe all your tears and just reflect all those things, okay? Okay, so for this time, we'll be having a group differentiated tasks. I want you to go to your respective groups. In one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, eyes on me. Okay, very good. So did, uh, these are the things that you're going to do. Okay, so first is group one and group two. So group one and group two, what you're going to do is to write an FB post about concurring trials in life. Again, write an FB post about concurring trials in life. Group three and four, compose a song about love of a son and father. Again, compose a song about love of a son and a father. Group five, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to reenact a short scene or scenes in Biag Nilam Ang story. Okay, you just need to choose which scene you're going to portray. Okay, there you go. Do you have any questions? All right, if there's no more questions, I, I will give you the, the rubrics or the criteria for judging your work okay for group one and two three and four okay very good okay now if you if there are no more questions you may start working go ahead all right thank you so much all the presenters group leaders and members for a job well done of your tasks that great that's great now for this time let's proceed to the reflection okay so i have your questions question number one what are the char character traits of lam an are valued by filipinos up to the present time anyone Fabi. bravery okay that's nice yes mario Okay, great determination and perseverance. What else? Yes, creepy, loving and caring. Okay, that's amazing. Yes, I believe that those are quali those qualities are being valued by Filipinos up until this time. Uh, bravery, courage, determination, hard work, perseverance, loving and caring to all people. So thank you so much. Now, what is the moral of the story? Anyone? Okay, that's perfect. That's true that life has full of unexpected turns. And it's very difficult, but what we just need to do is to go forward, to move forward. And, you know, success won't happen in one nap, in just one nap. It takes a lot of determination, hard work, and perseverance. And of course, of course, be believing in yourself and believing to God. Okay? Now for the last one. The story taught me to... That's great to hear. Okay? The story taught me how to, to be brave and to have courage despite the difficulties in life. Thank you so much. That's 
Great. So are there any more questions about this story? No more questions. Okay, if there are no more questions, I want you to get your assignment notebook and please write your assignment. First is, what are the things that you want to tell to your father, okay? And you're going to ask five of your classmates to answer it and affects their signatures. And we will check this one by tomorrow. Okay, are there any more questions? None. All right, so we are done with our lesson for, for today. And I hope that you learned something. Thank you so much. And I hope that you know we could get along with other lessons like this. Thank you, enjoy, and have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.